in order not to lose suction through these screw holes this one's supposed to have screw holes anyway but I went ahead and filled these holes with epoxy let it harden and then re, uh, re-sanded the bottom and this one here that gets the screw holes I filled those with epoxy also so it wouldn't lose suction on the uh, vacuum plate and we can just drill them out later and of course this one the hole doesn't go all the way through they're tapped holes so that one won't matter so right now I'm uh, zeroing the uh, quarter inch route a bit to the plexiglass plate and then this is the one we're going to machine first the center out with the center hole, three quarter hole, then a pocket and then a groove for a gasket Change bits now to the uh, grooving bit. Now that we got the first part done, which I call part A, <coughs> excuse me, getting ready to do the same thing to uh, part B. Okay, we got both uh, pieces finished now. The base piece, uh, which is part A, and the piece that mounts to it, part B. So the next thing to do will be make the pin. Although I think I may need to uh, cut a groove in one of these, probably this one since it's thicker. Cut a groove around here for a gasket for when these two go together. It will also seal and then we'll have a seal on the pin too. And then somehow we'll drill some holes up through the pin for the suction to come through. So I think I'll uh, either start on the pin next or cut the groove in this. I'm getting ready to cut the uh, groove in here for the gasket to go between the two plates. In order to do that I went ahead and uh, made a little centering pin that I just threw across the room. Made a little centering pin on the lathe to fit into the plexiglass plate to center this plate. So what I got to do is uh, make sure my grooving bit is centered and then uh, take it from there.
cut a piece of uh, short piece of aluminum off this uh, round stock here to put in the lathe to make the uh, pin. I've got to turn one end down to uh, three quarters to fit through this hole in each of these pieces. The other end needs to be, well it can stay like it is, I think it's an uh, inch and three eighths now and it'll fit into this inch and a half recess. So I'll probably just clean that up and turn the rest of it down to uh, three quarter to go through the hole which doesn't need to be very long because you only got about a quarter inch eighth inch on each side there so uh, we'll get it set up in the lathe Okay, we've got it down to uh, one inch diameter now. We've got another quarter inch to go. Got just a couple thousands to go. That one fits good. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Now we'll turn it around and put this end in the chuck, change the jaws, and uh, part that off at the right uh, width there. Which I think I was going to have a 3 sixteenths.
I ended up taking a little bit more off the face of this to get it down a little bit thinner. It was uh, it was protruding up above the surface here a little bit, but now it's sitting below there. Plus the gasket's holding it a little bit, and that'll give give a little bit when it's uh, suctions on. But it, even without it pressing on the gasket, it's still below the surface. So I think we'll be okay. Now I just got to trim this off to the correct length. Uh, for the two going together. We've got to trim it off about right at that lip right there so that the cap will pull it tight or actually just a little short of that. So we'll put it back in the lathe and try to part that off. Should have left it a little longer to have a little more meat there to hold on to, but we'll see what we can do. See how this thing fits now. Could have made a hair longer, but I think that'll be all right. It's in there enough to hold it, and the uh, screws in the cap piece will hold it. So that'll be the next thing we have to make is the uh, cap for this end. Then we'll drill the holes in that with the screws and then tap this with screws.